Naturally, you're playing Act 3 and you stumble across the purple gates in the pagoda, and you wonder how am I meant to open those after you defeat the boss and still nothing happens. In order to unlock these gates, you're going to have to fight against an optional mini-boss called Captain Lotus Vision. If you die fighting him, it is incredibly easy to get back, as you'll be right near the Upper Pagoda Shrine. If you're wanting the location, just follow me here. I'm spawning at the Upper Pagoda Shrine and doing a quick 180 around. As you walk up the stairs, you should see a massive gaping hole that you can jump down, but do it in this particular way, otherwise you're going to take a lot of fall damage and that isn't great. The boss fight is deceptively easy at first, but don't let that throw you because later on he gets wild. The easiest way I've found to deal with this is to just transform into the Rockman instead of trying to dodge and jump and all of that because he'll just tank all of the damage and you'll get rewarded for it. Because when he's in this phase he doesn't tend to teleport around I've found. Also, if you're looking for a cheap win, when you get him to around quarter health, you can't use the wind talisman to pull him back down, you just kind of have to hope and pray that you don't die. My final tip for fighting this guy if you're struggling is to use the staff spin attack. One, it can build up massive focus if you use it to attack an enemy. And secondly, he likes to shoot out a lot of projectiles that can be dealt with very easily with the staff. Now that you've gone and defeated him, you should have access to a new quest. On the lower floor of the pagoda, in the second cell along from where you spawn, the door should now be open. There should be a rat in there with potentially a knife stabbed into him. This will unlock the Ashen Transformation spell, allowing you to turn into that rat that creates the massive explosion that we use for the Chapter 4 XP guide. Next, I'm going to be covering how to unlock the Ebb and Flow transformation spell. Anyway, if you enjoyed this quick and concise guide, make sure to leave a follow, subscribe, like, all of that good stuff, and I will see you in the next video.